Da -da -da. Journey to the West 6, the Dragon King. What's wrong with our swords and spears, as a given? They're fine or normal monkeys and apes, said Wukong. But I'm very powerful. I need a much heavier weapon. The gibbon thought for a no minute. A dragon king lives at the bottom of the eastern sea, he said. Maybe he has a weapon you can use. I don't think so. Oh yes, there yeah, is. That's a good idea, said Wukong. I will be back soon. He said a quick spell and so he could live underwater. Then he dived into the stream. He swam the to the ocean and went deeper and deeper. Soon he arrived at a large palace. The dragon king and the dragon queen were sitting at a table having tea. The dragon king looked over when Wukong walked in. Who are you? asked the dragon king. I'm king of the fruit and flower mountain, said Wukong. My name is Sun Wukong. It's nice to meet you, said the queen. Would you like some tea? No, thank you, said Wukong. I need a heavy weapon because I'm as strong as a god. I want one of yours. Well, said the dragon king, I suppose I can find a weapon for you. The dragon king Look at a turtle sol solar. When the heavy weapon for Sun Wukong, the turtle went out of the room. He soon came back, slowly dragging a huge sword. He dropped the sword and fell, and then fell down out of breath. Wukong picked the sword with no trouble at all. Swoosh, swoosh. He waved the sword through the air, pretending to fight. This sword is too light, said Wukong. Find me a better weapon. This monkey is rude, the queen whispered to her husband. The dragon queen whispered to her husband. You're right, dear, said the dragon king, spurred back. Let's find him something. Something quickly so he's leave. So, uh, quickly so he'll leave. A few minutes later, several turtles and octopus dragged an enormous spear into the room. There. Uh oh. Uh oh. 我先给你拿纸吧，那只能先暂停了。Okay. A few minutes later, several turtles and octopuses dragged an enormous spear into the room. There, said the dragon king. That looks like a very heavy weapon, right? Wukong? Wukong left the spear and began Stabbing at the air, he shook his head. This spear is too light. The dragon king snorted. That spear is very heavy. How can you say it's too light? To me, it's light, said Wukong. Find me something else. We don't have anything else, said the dragon king. That is the heaviest weapon we have. Wukong stomped his foot. I'm not leaving until I get what I want. This is an upgrade, said the Dragon King. The Queen whispered to him again. What about magical? What about the magical iron bar in the treasury? I'm sure that's heavy enough. We can't give him the give that to him, said the Dragon King. It's a treasure from heaven. Who cares? said the Queen. I just want this monkey out of my palace. The dragon king sighed. Wukong, we might have something heavy enough for you. Bring here, said Wukong. We can, said the dragon king. It's too heavy for anyone to lift. But if you can lift it, we'll let you have it. Show me where it is, said Wukong. 
the group went to the treasury. An enormous iron pillar stood in the center of the room. Beams of golden light shone from it. That pillar was used to measure all the oceans and rivers. And said the Dragon King, "Wu Kong went closer and looked up at the large piece of iron." The Dragon King folded his arms. If you can pick that up, you can have it. Okay. Hmm. This is the fifth book. Uh, the sixth book. Sixth book. Hmm. Sixth.、Huh? Ah, let the teacher take the mic. Teacher, good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hey. Bye bye. Bye bye.、Hmm. Peace. Okay.